space, the final frontier. Millions of stars, thousands of comets and asteroids, eight planets, and five dwarf planets. Although some argue that Pluto should be classified as a planet, the reality is that it's nothing more than a rocky core surrounded by a mantle of water ice that only meets two out of the three criteria to be considered a planet. The IAU, or International Astronomical Union, downgraded Pluto to a dwarf planet in 2006. This is because Pluto does not meet all three requirements to be classified as a planet. These requirements are, it is in orbit around the sun, it has sufficient mass to assume a nearly round shape, and it has cleared the neighborhood around its orbit. Pluto has only met the first two requirements. It has failed to clear the neighborhood of space material, including icy bodies and asteroids like the other planets have. The eight planets in our solar system have absorbed the flying rocks around their orbits. In other words, Pluto has yet to assert orbital dominance over its surroundings. It is also evident that Pluto is unlike the other planets as it is extremely icy, while the others are either rocky or gassy. It closely resembles other dwarf planets in the Kuiper Belt. Pluto is also very close in size to another Kuiper Belt object, Eris. Eris is considered a dwarf planet with a similar composition to that of Pluto, and it's slightly more massive. If Eris is considered a dwarf planet, why would Pluto not be? If that wasn't enough for you, mathematics has confirmed Pluto is not a planet. Astronomer Jean-Luc Margot has discovered the precise formula to decide once and for all what celestial bodies can be considered planets. The formula defines in further depth how round a planet must be and what exactly clear your orbit means. Not meeting the requirements to be a planet, closely resembling other Kuiper Belt objects, the specifications of dwarf planets, and the laws of mathematics all give Pluto the thumbs down on being classified as a planet. This evidence points to the indubitable fact that Pluto just doesn't make the cut. All the facts confirm that there is nothing else Pluto could ever be besides just another dwarf planet.